Well, it is morning time now, and a little bit of clouds in the sky. It was uh, it was a little chilly last night, but it really wasn't all that cold. Um, I remember last year when I woke up here, it was frosty in the morning. Um, but it's been overall much warmer. Um, I'd say yesterday it was probably, um, probably in the 80s. It was actually relatively warm. So I was actually looking forward to nighttime when it kind of cooled down and could, uh, I don't know, just could uh, get away from the warmth a little bit. But um, I got to figure out what I'm going to do today. I think I'm going to head back in the canyon, check out that one tree in the morning light, kind of see how that looks. See if there's any sort of good light on that tree. Otherwise, what I got yesterday may have been the best for, for that one. Um, but then there's another part of the canyon which um, winds around quite a bit and doesn't really have any trees in it, but there could be a chance of some cool you know, reflected light back in there or something else. So, um, But also the main part of the canyon has all kinds of cool trees and stuff, so um, I'll just spend the time exploring around and seeing what I could find. Well, I've returned to the area where I was hanging out for so long yesterday. And it's a very beautiful scene, but it'd be really hard to shoot right now. And the main reason is that there's some direct sunlight just out of view of the video camera right now. And it's rapidly advancing down that wall in the background, and pretty soon it's going to be in direct sunlight. But it's the sort of thing where I didn't really know how it was going to be until I could actually see it with my own eyes. And I had kind of a feeling this might be the case. But in any event, I think this is going to be more of a late afternoon um, shot. I, it was around 3 o'clock when I... Uh, left yesterday because the clouds were forming. Um, so it's probably going to be sometime a little bit after that. And clear skies, no wind, which is actually kind of a harder thing to come by here because normally in the afternoon it's a bit windy. But even though I'm not able to shoot this in the morning, it does give me an opportunity to scout some other areas in the canyon. And perhaps this not being a great morning shot means that I will end up somewhere else at some point today where there is a good photo. So I'm get things packed up and then head up the rest of the canyon and see what I can find. So I'm wandering further up this wash and it's a pretty harsh part of the wash. So there's some big boulders that have fallen and kind of constricted a little bit, so there's some rock scrambling you have to do from time to time to get through. But I found something kind of cool as I was just wandering around here. And if you look back behind me over here, you see this kind of cool zigzag kind of fracture in the rock. And uh, pretty easy photo really because I have a lot of really nice reflected light right here. And I set up my camera with my normal lens and I'm gonna use my um, Kind of a vertical composition and just just frame it pretty easily there nothing nothing too crazy but i got a pretty good feeling about this i'm going to use a sheet of velvia 50 and uh, just a one shot sort of photo pretty cool to find all right so this is eight seconds at f45 the cool harry potter lightning bolt thing here and reflected light Two sheets left of Velvia and three sheets left of Ektar. Definitely a one shot sort of subject. No issues with wind. Um, the light's pretty good right now, so feeling good about that. It's only eight o'clock in the morning. my way out 
side of the canyon. You know, it's it's about 11:30 right now, and that means that there's really good time for glows and also for wind. But I was hiking through the canyon, and I saw that really really cool area. Got some water there. Got a nice glow. Have light colored stones. Got some cool angles on the sandstone there in the background. And so I exposed two sheets. I know what you're thinking. Doubles. No, actually it wasn't doubles. Actually, I shot two different compositions. They're subtly different, but it's one of the things where I don't quite know it's going to be good until I really see the film. But, uh, yeah. That's a cool find. But now I have one sheet of Ektar left. And was it like two sheets of Velvia, something like that? So I'm running low on film. It's a little after 1.30 and I went back to camp just to make myself some lunch and also check on my solar charger because that's what I use to charge the batteries for the Sony camera that I'm using to record this video right now. And originally I was kind of budgeting myself about two batteries a day, but I've been using about three. So at some point they'll catch up with me, but I, uh, you know, I have, I think I'm going to head over to, uh, to that same tree I went to this morning and see how it is in the afternoon, um, the late, late afternoon, because there's really not a lot of clouds out right now. And this time yesterday there were more clouds. So, um, maybe I'll have some moments with some nice reflected light, but I don't even know if the light is any good on that tree in the late afternoon. I just know it's not in the morning. It's not at midday, so maybe at late afternoon. But uh, if I do manage to take a photo of that tree, um, I think I'm, I'm good for the backpacking trip. I think I could head out of here tomorrow morning. And initially when I was you know, going on this trip and kind of coming up with the plans, I wanted to stay down these canyons as long as I can, but it's tough to do. I mean, it's really tough to do. Um, just knowing that, you know, if I hike back to the truck and then drive back to some degree of civilization, I'll be able to call my wife and kind of, uh, you know, see what's going on. Cause I miss that. I really do. After a while, it kind of starts weighing on you a little bit, kind of, you know, being by yourself out here, but there's so many great subjects. So it's, you know, pros and cons. So but I still have a little more time before I hike back to that tree and see how it's doing. So it's been several hours and I have returned to the tree that I was at this morning. And I'm not sure if the lighting is going to work out for this one. So I spin you around here. There's a tree there. Um, but you see that this side right here is lit up really well because there's some direct sunlight hitting right over there. But it's really kind of lighting the tree from the front, which is not really what I want. Um, I think I'd prefer it be backlit. That way it kind of gives some more depth to the photo. So it could very well be that this is just an awesome tree that doesn't really get amazing light. Also, it's really windy. So there's been a couple other uh, compositions and scenes I've been kind of bouncing between to see if anything really works out. Um, wind's really kicking up now. But the tree just kind of blends in with the background. That's a really strong wind. Beautiful scene though. So I was hiking back to camp and uh I was a little bummed out that it got so windy I wasn't able to take any pictures in that particular area, but then I found this. A beautiful wall of desert varnish and reflected light with some really cool bushes kind of hanging out there. And so I went ahead and set up the Intrepid 8x10, used some rear movements to try to kind of straighten out those lines a little bit of the desert varnish. Really simple composition, but uh, I'm feeling good about this. Uh, three different photos today. Um, I guess I, the other question is why didn't I even walk up and check out this wall before? This is seriously like one of the best looking walls of desert varnish that I've seen. So 
really pays to kind of explore and check out. I'm hoping I got the focus right on it because it's a little dim, it's a little hard to see what I was doing. But uh, feeling good about that. back at camp now and it has been a pretty long day. Um, I mean it's cool that I was able to find three different subjects that were completely different today. Um, completely different vibe to it. That's one of the things I really like about this can is the fact that there's so much variety and I've only just kind of started to tap the surface a little bit so I know we'll be back next year but I think the fact that I was able to photograph six subjects over the course of two days that's pretty good and uh, I think that means it's time for me to move on to another location. Um, so I made myself some dinner, some uh, Kong Pao rice with chicken, and uh, I'm going to purify some water uh, after dinner to make sure that I have plenty for the hike out of here tomorrow because it's gonna be kind of a long haul, but, uh, but that's all right. I'll start the hike pretty early. Um, that way I don't have to worry about uh, hiking as much in the hot desert heat because it's been pretty hot so far on this trip. Um, quite a bit hotter than last year. Um, in some ways it's kind of nice and the evenings are nice and nights nice but uh, during the day man when you're in the hot sun it is just really really hot so. But uh, I've got a pretty good feeling about this trip so far. Um, it's been a lot of work. I mean I put so much work into planning these trips and figuring out where I'm going to go and what I'm going to do and come up with these big plans and but then once I get here I just kind of find some things point my camera at it and you know. But uh, I'm looking forward to heading to Capitol Reef next and uh, see what I can find there. A little bit back to civilization, but I'm definitely looking forward to getting back to my trek tomorrow. But I'm going to enjoy my dehydrated food tonight and uh, get things packed away and get ready for the hike tomorrow morning. If you enjoy this ad-free content and want to help me live my dream, a voluntary contribution of just $24 a year helps keep my gas tank full and my film freezer stocked. For more information on how to support me and my work, please visit the donation section of my website at benhorn.com donate. I also have prints available on my website. You can find a direct link down below in the show notes. Thanks in advance for your support.